Yeah. That's what they say at the Express UK today. Uh, in uh, 2010, Prince Harry stated me uh, that he will be doing this. That he will be doing this. to prove just how much injustice was done to me. In 2010, I barely started with a YouTube. It's the first time, maybe it was 2011, I don't know. Uh, I just started it. And there was a video that was, you know, within a few days, I got like 10,000 views or something like that, and then just disappeared. The video was taken off. Uh, it's when I uh, actually audio recorded one more American asking me why am I in my America? I shouldn't be in America, that I should get lost and stuff like that. Uh, that I am a disgrace for America and so on. That was actually Rachel Steiger, my roommate from Bellingham, who visited this house on quite a few occasions, by the way, and whose parents were involved in MK Ultra with her brother. Ah. Parents were involved in MK Ultra probably since one of the first people probably. I have no idea, maybe since 1990, who knows. Before Rachel was even born, I think. Um, anyhow, Prince Harry stated me he will not be doing the business the way I do. He had different versions. One of the versions suggested that he's going to be helping me out to prove how much injustice was done to me. <clears throat> but many other versions of Prince Harry indicated how um, he will demonstrate nobody and nothing not existing anywhere. It was more like a hatred motivated crime that got him do his podcasts and uh, the way to realize because he was involved in so much torture his plan according to him alone would only be possible by him signing the contract because if you go to the YouTube hello whole champions today I'm gonna talk if you go to the YouTube you see few things. You see views. And you can see how many subscribers the person has. And you can see the likes. But this doesn't mean shit. Because... This man who was involved in MK Ultra and everybody else that you see here on this site, here on this page, or everybody else whom you're going to see here in this page here, had a contract with the Illuminatis. 
And if you have a contract with the Illuminatis, they put your results, your videos, they put them on the top of the YouTube. So whoever person is in this world that visits the YouTube is going to get to see you on a front page if you have a contract with Illuminatis. And the way to get a contract with Illuminatis, the fastest way, certain way, was to commit crime against me on behalf of Illuminatis. The head of, Illumina of Illuminatis Circle are British royals from London. And then it breaks down to the little crime, hyenas, presidents, prime ministers, other petty royals, smaller royals, uh, Dutch, Norwegians, Swedish, tiny little royals around the world. But the top of the scheme, the top of this not Nigerian scam or shame or whatever you want to call this, but really European, German, Berlin, Buckingham Palace scam are British royals from London. That's how it does. And they hired this little henchman that you see to do the job. And in return, they get to be seen on top. So you can post the video, and your video is going to be even suppressed. It's all going to be based on police, police surveillance. If you are not fit to the government requirements for you, you're not going to even appear anywhere in a YouTube. You're not going to be, you're going to have 10 views, 5 views, shit views like I have. I have even less than that. I have one, two, three, or whatever view. It doesn't matter. So Prince Harry figure out because <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, any excuse is good. Yeah, but I like these numbers here. And I also like the fact that I probably published probably closer to 2,000 videos. Probably closer to 2,000 videos and each one over one hour long. Not It's not closer, but it's, it goes way beyond 2,000 videos with, I'm going to say, probably even... Well over 2,000 videos with, with well over 2,000 hours video recorded. Numerous blog posts that do make difference in this world. And so Prince Harry stated to me, he said to me, he said to me, <clears throat> he couldn't afford to make money with the YouTube because exactly what I stated, because the YouTube revenues, the way I'm doing this stuff, it just doesn't pay enough. So, he had to do different ways. It's not about YouTube revenues. He failed, basically he, f he feared of who he is. He feared of the failure. He's a fake. This is, these are fakes. These are one of the biggest forgeries around the world that the world can see. Fakes. Completely fakes. They have nothing intelligent to tell. What they tell is what psychiatrists, psychologists, even break them down on how to tell in front of the public. 
they go, these people go out there and they exercise behind curtain. They're public. Um, na stop. I don't know how you say that. Appearance on a stage, whatever. Speech. They have a Bluetooth integrated inside of their ears so that the words could not go, the scenario could not go any wrong. It's a farce, tremendous one. He did not even fear me. He feared other people. He even feared his own clowns that make tremendous views. Seven million, I don't know, 800,000, 21 million or whatever. These people make decent revenues. But if you want a turbo revenue, then according to Prince Harry, you have to do an art, right? What is the art? This here is an art. Art of forgery is what this is. You have a picture and uh, you pop some water on it and you do it like this. And it's the same picture except that the picture is blur and nobody really knows the real circumstances. It's not clear. This is abstract world that we live in today. This is the Picasso, basically, <laughs> of the modern time. I'm not going against uh, painters, paint artists. I, I don't want to go against anybody because it's, it's a tough work to do. People do tough stuff to stay alive. Any kind of employment, self-employment is not easy. Um, and there are only two scenarios possible, nothing in between. Either you go up or you go, you disappear. Uh, but clearly in this case, this is a forgery that had to be done this way so that he can portray his income somewhere, somehow, some way. But this video is not about Prince Harry or Meghan Merkel. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. This video is to ask, for me to answer Vladimir Putin. There might be people already so happy when they heard me talking about British royals and stuff. But uh, there is man that is the fakest man in this world. The fakest, fakest of the moral man in this world. And his name is Putin. Who just two days ago after I published a video that is censored. Like if I go back here. <clears throat> and I demonstrate to you this year that you have seen a little earlier. Nothing but hatred and corruption, this kind of stuff. It's censored based on the copyright because I used, I don't know, what is it this shit about? I mean, yeah, let's see what this is. Oh my God, there is a fucking minute and 20 seconds of dance of the floor redance waltz of the duke ellington of his orchestra content found i don't even know but it starts with a 48 minute 49 second who gives a shit with so many videos that i have uh and even an option that i offer to the people so they can freely go and see this on some other website that's not going to even make any difference for me, will it? Let's see, to make sure. But, you know, blocked. Not, mo not, not only capable not to monetize, but totally blocked. Well, <laughs> okay. 
this is the post right here. This post seems, uh, not only that seems, but it definitely did hit the target. Uh, it uh, squeezed some nerves out there, I think. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't like it, you can go to another channel. That's why I posted other ish, other abilities for you to see this video. Uh, it, it totally hit the nerve because... Yeah, this guy, this, this little fuck. A Russian. Uh, wow. It's pretty much this here that it breaks down to. This video is age restricted and only available on YouTube. Let's see what that looks like. This is what got Vladimir Putin because I demonstrated the problems they have created me by stealing absolutely everything. Entire life, absolutely everything, all the aspects of one's life they have robbed me of absolutely everything. They break down everything, how they... And during the video, as is the case here in Slovenia, and around the world, Putin Digital, just before I get to this issue, Putin Digital, uh, Putin... Yeah, this is where Putin is ridiculing himself, uh, bragging in front of the Russian people that are asking themselves, way overdue if he is, in fact, insane. Hehehe, <laughs> this is funny. How to make yourself even more stupid. He's crazy, definitely he's crazy. He's, he already started to brag to himself about issues. He's giving an advice to his own questions. Let's go. Artificial intelligence generated Putin asked Putin about his rumored body doubles. Let's go. This is what Putin answers with. They can replicate his voice. They can replicate whatever they can replicate. Uh, but he will always be himself. That basically, if we will be lucky for the guardian to play us the video, then... How do you know, first of all, that somebody is a lunatic? How do you recognize a lunatic? What, is, what are the characteristics of the lunatic? MKUltra is a procedure of creating lunatics. These are people that see themselves uh, that the most qualified as lunatics actually be, become, they reach the statuses of this man here, of Vladimir Putin. Luckily for me, not all the politicians, I should say lunatics, became as crazy as this guy here. But this guy really reached the climax. He went all the way to the stars when it comes to the lunacy. Lunatics, talking about the MK Ultra lunatics, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, <clears throat> they, through the video surveillance, as they use somebody like myself, they throw me in a circle of the lunatics. They, they carefully select people that are the, with the lowest IQ, like, you know, the bottom of the fucking IQ. And, in fact, who are people that need 
are in need of proving themselves. Logic, sports, they want to be. They are not, but they want to be. Especially if the subject that is drugged up, that is tortured, humiliates them. I did not humiliate anybody, but I did not allow anybody to humiliate me. And on humiliations, I answered with the humiliations, even with a physical force, as much and as long as I could, because when you are drugged up under this kind of circumstances, you might not even wake up one day. If they decide to kill you when you are drugged up, you're dead. So very thousand times, at least 1,000 times, I had to stop myself from being killed, actually, during MK Ultra. I came like this, close, being killed on thousand occasions during MK Ultra. Then it's better to play stupid. Then it's better to just completely unplug yourself and just hang in there till it's over. Better than to have more physical injuries done. Better to be harmed more and maybe even not wake up tomorrow in the morning. Because the police, when they barricade themselves inside of your home, as it was in my case, for 30 years, at one point in time they might decide, we'll kill you. If you go and you manage somehow to break free or and it's a physical fight that breaks out uh maybe even the weapons get involved you definitely get killed you can get killed if a police officer a professional assassin this is not police this is not any kind of police if I go back a little to this not Nigerian scam, and I'm using this Nigerian scam issue because it's an Asian carp, because a Nigerian scam, because it's always something that is not white, basically. Here on the top you have royals. In this pyramid here. Then you have Putin's. Kochans. Pahors. Kaczynskis, Dudas, von der Leyen's, Merkel's. I'm going to do like this because there are too many to count. Then you have the so called influencers. And I'm going to amplify this stuff here. And I'm going to make it big like this. The clowns, basically. The Hollywooders, YouTubers, wannabes. And all these people here, they want to prove one another being useful. They want to prove themselves useful to these people here by offering them. And that's the way it worked. Cash, even for fake death certificates, as long as they can produce trauma, drama, trauma, on tortured subject, blaming him for whatever issues and racism and uh, 
causing him harm, basically. This is wannabe. They want to get up here. This are somewhere in the middle. They want, just like influencers, money. And in some cases, as a Putin cases, he wants to go up there. He would like to be Tsar. Or maybe just Stalin. He tried to be both. He tried to be Stalin. So with the idea that he would play China and India. And at the same time Tsar. With the idea that he would play it West. Britain, Germany, France, Spain and others into his issues. He wanted to be both. He was a Nazi and he, was, he wants to be an anti-Nazi. He wants like all the circle, the 360 degree of bullshit that, uh, that uh, some sort of influencers also developed around the world after the Second World War II because the Second World War II was like a major event in which uh, Nazis colonizers basically or whatever you want to call them imperialists lost most of their previous um, what they took for granted basically whatever you want to call this I this is not privileges this is about some other issues So, like every Illuminati, this here, this, they presented themselves like a judges, like they, they always wanted to be a judge, royals, they always wanted to look like a judge, judge. Where the fuck I was in this picture? Nowhere. <laughs> I was in this picture like this like this and the only thing i dealt was with the violence including from the top royals alone were involved in directly into violence they did not only use the influencers they alone got involved in violence and they were proving one another the ability to do crime with the royals clearly knowing that 50% of these people here is even questionable, possibly schizophrenics, paranoids, mentally ill people, would qualify probably as a mentally ill people because they started to see things that did not even fucking exist. Many of these people would see things that don't exist, did not exist, and were not interested in facts about my life at all. They didn't want to know for their own convenience wise sometimes they didn't want they didn't want to know for their own convenience wise what my real life was why i turned the way i did they were not interested in these people would not allow the case to be resolved when the case was due on many occasions to be resolved and these people no longer, these younger and younger generations, the older generations, one of the pictures, completely different picture. With one generation, with third generation being involved in it, knowing about it all, gone of the picture, it's a new generation of the people that comes, and the memory on the truth fades away with every new generation that comes. So it may no surprise to me this shit here that I demonstrated you post in front of me with his brother alike with the children and uh, basically suggesting me I'm a nobody and nothing and that kind of stuff it's not surprise to me Prince Philip Queen Elizabeth and Mother Queen they're all gone already they were all gone of the picture even when they were present they didn't have any kind of influence over what went on after Charles, after Andrew, Anne, Edward, 
This is just the next generation that was gone of the picture, and none of these people were any good. None of these people were any fucking good. They were up to no fucking good. They were up to no good. But with every generation, newer generation, there was more and more and more disrespect. Less and less appreciation for absolutely the world. I'm not going to say of yesterday, but when I started to shape one in 1972. I was born in 1971 on December 9. I am now 52 years old. With an individual like this one here, who is a meter 60 tall or something like this, eager to prove me that he is absolutely better and more fit for absolutely anything in this world. Stronger, smarter, better, uh, clearly, clearly, clearly insane. Remember when I told you that 50% of these people are schizophrenics? And you heard from me expression political schizophrenia. Since people started to see things that don't fucking exist. To me, they refer to me as a ghost. I'm not here to bash Putin based on his height, size, physical strength whatever because one is not determining anything about human beings of today it might have been the deal 100 years ago still maybe 100 years ago i had no idea but with the loss with the arrival of police with law enforcement laws how one was measured based on his physical strength no longer played any role almost in this world it was more about what the person had in his head what he carried along in his head what he was in his mind in his brain that shaped him i managed to shape this world for this guy did not hate me because of my taking down soviet union and yugoslavia only he hated me for other reasons, and the thing is that I was not shy about my accomplishments. I never looked at them as accomplishments. I never looked at them as accomplishments, as these people were sure that... No, they actually demanded from me to see them as accomplishments. But at the same time, they used extreme forms of physical violence in Slovenia for me to not forget about my accomplishments, but they dared to cross beyond what became in my life the issue of my accomplishments absolutely not making any positive difference for me the need to move on in my life, they went beyond this feeling of don't even want to have anything to do with my accomplishments anymore because they didn't compensate, because everything, their lies about how much money and this they owe me and I will make and this and that. It was bullshit. It was a crap. It was a useless crap. It was used to lure entire world in war against me. They went beyond this shit and this scum started to dare me to exist, to breathe air, to live for another day, to dare. They dared me to dare. Listen to this. They dared me to dare to breathe air, to exist. They dared me to get up and go look for the job. Even if it was look just looking for the job. They used Slovenian police 
to torture me in front of a computer after I would send job applications to dare me to send job applications to employers in front of the computers with a neighbor, with a neighbors involved in it. They dared me to breathe air. They dared me to be alive. This, they went beyond. This individual became obsessed with idea, with me. He completely, completely lost himself. He was, he became obsessed, completely obsessed with, with me. When Elon Musk released his theory about shooting people, uh, nets inside of the brain so that the people could use artificial intelligence to interconnect and stuff like this. What I acknowledged and continue to acknowledge as a total bullshit, scam, a total lie. They claimed me they integrated chips in my head. They claimed me they implanted um, uh, electrodes in my head, motivational electrodes in my head, stimulation electrodes in my head. They claimed me, they brainwashed me for 20, 30 years with this kind of issues. I estimate that even at times, that even up to 40% of the time in certain years, I was, I spent drugged up, subjected to MK Ultra, even 40%. So then you can imagine what kind of degree of brainwash the fuck this was. I was just a dead walking man that spent more time drugged up than sober working on my issues. That's how brutal this stuff was. Otherwise, the average for my case is about at least 25% of the time. I spent drugged up, subjected to MK Ultra. 25%, ladies and gentlemen, breaks down to about seven days for every 30 days. Seven, eight days for every 30 days that you spend. Well, well you were subjected to MK Ultra. This is my average. Not for 52 years, because I'm 52, and since 2020, upon return to Slovenia, nobody got a hold of me. But I was 49 when I returned back to Slovenia. For 49 years, 25% of the time, that's a lot of fucking time. This individual became completely obsessed with artificial intelligence and so on and so forth. And so once I started to talk in these videos here that you can only see on a YouTube, why the fuck do you have to see them only on a YouTube? I mean, what is with this here, this, I became a little wealthier for a fucking Merry Christmas. Yes, what I go and I, uh, basically I break down. I go like really, really with a speedy. I am looking to solution to get this fucking videos together. Join them basically. Finish the deal. Post it online, upload it to the internet. And you can see how difficult this shit is because of, I told you, because of the computers, they stolen everything, they, de they destroyed everything. And I am talking to myself, maybe, in this video here, even. Yeah. And I am addressing myself as... Um, I am addressing myself as... Um, the new releases from Tesla keep moving us toward... Get out with this garbage. I am addressing myself to as we. So, obviously, that... 
you guys in front of a computer, you're probably talking to yourself as, now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to do this. Now I have to click this. Now I will click this. Now I will click that. Now I will do this. Now I will do that. This is what this guy probably expected from me. The case would be that this is the way it should be. All through he knows that if I would be talking like this, I would sound like um, definitely like a mentally retarded guy. Definitely, I would say somebody who is doing this stuff. Obviously, I have an audience here. Uh, I'm doing this for the audience, not only for myself. These are physical proofs about what I endured, basically, the stuff I do. Obviously, I am addressing the issues that I do is what we're going to do is we're going to do this. What we're going to do now next is going to be that. And that's a normal way to talk. It's completely normal. Um, the person in Slovenia, the person on the West, and I don't know how he's in Russia. I don't know. Uh, oftentimes, a mechanic, whether that be mechanic that is working on a project, uh, or somebody else, or engineer, or somebody who is doing stuff, will have a different approach towards uh, breaking down his visions, let's say, than, um, I don't know, maybe most likely what I would even say, most likely what I would even say, a schizophrenic or somebody in the Eastern Europe. Because maybe in Eastern Europe it's normal to say, now I will pick up this, now I will pick up that, now I will do this, now I will place this here, now I will do this. But in Western world, the people that do the stuff like this, they say, oftentimes you would have them say, now what we're going to do is, you know, if you're recording specially this stuff, we're going to grab this. Obviously, there's no people, there's only one person. And we're going to mount this here. All I got to do now is screw this. So now you heard me. All I got to do, now we will do and so on. But this is a normal thing. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is one thing. This is the stuff that Vladimir Putin have stated me during MK Ultra. If I would do, that he would go ahead and do something like this. Remember what I told you about the lunatics? Not. You know, in German language, they say nute, they say nute, and they say hure, uh, whore and nut. All through, this is not the way I see if the word I don't even approve prostitution. I see them as uh, adult workers. I see them as uh, adult entertainment workers. Uh, I even see them as a therapist of some kind. Um, I would not want to think about absolutely any human dignity, even as a prostitution or as a whatever. As long as the person that do this stuff are ethical, basically, are not engaging in any kind of criminal, unethical practices. You get it? This is basically the way I see it. You see this face here, you see this here. Look at it. Look at good this. So, no, Vladimir Putin stated me that he will look, he will make a look like this to remind me that it is of me he is responding to if I would ever do the video as I gesture it, where I would be referring to as we do this and I do this and so on and so forth. 
You get it. Um, he says here should look like myself and talk in my voice. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, this is in my case a question of IQ and the ability to carry on despite my being labeled in 2013 and thrown into psychiatric institution as a paranoid schizophrenic. The ability to refuse to see myself as um, bipolar, let's say, somebody who is suffering a bipolar disorder or something like this. Multiple personality disorder issues. It is just a matter of IQ in my case. The ability to relate myself to different fucks. Or what he refers to voices. I'm going to say a shitty ghosts, cowards. Who never ever would dare to approach me in real life with absolutely any of their frustrations involved in MK Ultra? That's a cowardice, basically. It's a cowardice. Did you go and you stress all kinds of lies, basically? Is this people that were involved in it, these people all know that that had nothing to do, any of the issues had nothing to do with me. They just believed, sure enough, it goes long enough, it's going to be part of me. It's going to become part of me. It never became any part of me. That's, my friends, is when you could say what Vladimir Putin says next here. He says, this person is going to be me. In other words, he says, it's I and not voices that create me and so on and so forth. This is just envious little fuck. Malicious enough that have murdered 350,000 Russians in Ukraine and sent back to the Russia what nobody is talking about. How many soldiers? Maybe million wounded soldiers, Russian soldiers? How many Russian soldiers that were not killed in Ukraine are twitching on medical beds at home, back in Russia, in homes without legs, arms, I should say hands, Nobody's even talking about this stuff. Graveyards are packed with fresh deliveries. And this is the guy, the fakest guy in the world. The guy who was picked based on surveillance cameras, based on what I stated at the beginning of the video. Selected. Based on his... What some people would refer to even as disabilities to become a president of Russia. Lead the Russian world of uh, Russian world of affairs into a total fuck up of failure. World of affairs behind which entire Kremlinchik, Kremlinchiki position themselves want to be seen through us uh, through like enormous violence through like a little guy entitled guy who present himself even dares to present himself as his real he wow you know putin uh you're thinking about yourself very 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 little when you will really accomplish something in your life like something like i did having the ability to carry on, even once you are 
buried alive like I was the last time in 2013 when I was even thrown inside a psychiatric hospital after 41 years of MK Ultra torture I endured and labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic. When you go on, when you keep carrying on and you prove the world wrong like I did, then you little fuck you can talk to me about your being somebody. But as of right now, you are just about at the same level, I would say, as to... There is a nice picture I have here on a desktop that reminds me of exactly what I stated. I don't have a good opinion about politicians. I'm sure you understand why I don't have a good opinion about the politicians. So when you are somebody, when you really become somebody, then come back to me and talk to me about neural implants and talk to me about whatever the fuck you want to talk to me about, because this was your passion. You couldn't stand. You couldn't stand the truth. I'm not going to say you couldn't stand to be the last wagon in this planet. But you just couldn't face with truth. And it does not have nothing to do your, with your physical size, with your physical strength. Not even with your IQ, because I think that you're fairly intelligent but it does have to do with the rotten character. So you have a rotten character like very few people have in this world, or I should say had. I quite frankly think that you are more dangerous than Adolf Hitler. And I quite frankly believe that if you're not going to be stopped, the world is going to be burned on some actually stopped now. The world is going to be burned on some other occasion to the ground by possibly also as I classified you part of the mental illness you suffer from when it comes to mental illness I'm going to do the line like this and I'm going to do like this and I'm going to tell you, it's 50-50. 50-50. It's exactly zero mental illness here, and I've proven that to be the case. If you want to imitate somebody, because when you're watching my program, you're watching intelligent stuff. And I do have a tendency sometimes, when it comes to voices, Voices, obviously, in my case, are torture. I endured since I was 49 years of age, directly torture. Having the ability to relate myself to the psychopaths, see inside of the brain how they wanted me to see myself as, imitating them, using their issues to portray my issues. That's exceptional intelligence. And it doesn't have nothing to do with the neural implants for which Vladimir Putin claimed me for fact that he will and he can, that he will prove no matter what that, that, that I do have a neural plans. Another one who insisted on that issue was Elon Musk, who just did not know, who just couldn't get enough of me with the Bezos. He could not understand how the fuck I always passed, survived, get by, passed by, went by, Man should do this, man should do that, despite absolutely everything. Rated as a dinosaur, not even as a grandpa anymore, on a market of MK Ultra butcheries, torture. Not torture, but butcheries, literally. They couldn't understand anymore about that stuff. And they started to claim, oh, you know, we're going to implant this, and it's going to be neural net, we're going to put, they're going to shoot in your and I don't know what, and we're going to communicate and so on, when in fact, I am a supercomputer. 
I am the one who watched you. I am the one who inspected you. I am your psychiatrist, your psychologist, who inspected how your brain operated, worked, when you, whenever you interacted with me when I was drugged up. I do have that kind of exceptional abilities, which I have used on some occasions to quite eliminate quite a few people, luckily for the world, because they were even dangerous for other members of society. We have all kinds of people involved in it that have proven some to be pedophiles, some even as a killers, others as God knows. There was all kinds of people that FBI, Interpol, police, whatever, managed to come across and uncover all kinds of rings and mafia and drug trafficking, all kinds of stuff went on. I wouldn't be talking to you about like this right now if I had a neuro implants. What you desperately wanted me to see myself as, and if you could not accomplish, as I stated, for me to see myself as which at one point I started to really believe that they did something to me. That's when you started to acknowledge the torture that was done, uh, where is the world opens to you about the amount of brainwash done. I did make a mistake, and I did start to believe that I did have neural implants inserted in me and so on. However, the X-raying, which was done on opportunity in 2013, 2014, at UKC, University Clinical Center in Ljubljana, which was the main center, epicenter of the torture in Slovenia. Since the times of Josip Broz Tito, when I was a child, I was delivered there at a neurological department, science. And then basically next door, uh, actually at the traumatology department, they were inspected to me as a baby if I'm okay, if I'm still normal, basically based on degree of torture, traumas they caused me via MK Ultra. That absolutely nothing in this world. Yeah, in 2013, 2014, the scanning was done, which confirmed that I had no implants, no neuro, no whatever, fuck, blah, blah, blah. None of that kind of stuff. And for the cost, as Vladimir Putin, if I continue with that issue, would not see myself, would refuse to see myself as somebody what he suggests over there is the science and is this days and so they you know putin and elon musk elon musk was completely obsessed he wanted to be part of this because of his own project because of the company because of this neural company he started he demanded from me to acknowledge his company and stuff like this that he will be helping me out through his neural blah 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 Paranoia, schizophrenia, basically, suggesting somebody who is subjected to MK Ultra torture that he is succeeding with his case because of existence of your company, because of your accomplishments that you are capable to, uh, you know. You understand me, what I'm saying? Elon Musk is imposter, liar, scammer, and a thief, industrial espionage thief, robber gangster sponsored by the u.s government beginning with his project with his rockets shot into space which was a complete disaster they already were ready to close down his space company and absolutely everything when he started because it was nothing other than a fuck up a disaster like the world have not seen yet and then he got nasa advisors but he continued to claim 
they on at U.S. taxpayers' expense his ownership in it because the U.S. government needed somebody from South Africa. Watch the video what I told you about at the beginning to understand about this when I said South Africa. You guys don't have anything yet that could have any kind of impact on me. The only thing you had was a violence. Nothing other than violence you had. Nothing other. You had no nothing. What these guys they dreaming about this shizo here that is they dreaming about. They had nothing to stop me other than violence. For they would literally have to really uh, take a chainsaw and open my head and stab me with something so that they would have in impact on me or I don't know. Uh, so far. The degree of violence, and I'm not going to talk about deprivation of my rights because it's stupid. For the last, since 2005, which is the last time I had the job, and all those other jobs previously were completely unstable, used to literally destroy me. As a trucker in 2005 in the U.S., I was forcefully unemployed, with few exceptions, with a social assistance in Slovenia, which was 1500 but altogether in the U.S., in Poland, and everything altogether, the income with the Slovenian social assistance, it equaled since 2005 to no more than maybe 8,000 euros, $8,000. That's not a lot of fucking money with the social assistance from Slovenia was it totaled to $1,500. This is the degree of violence I'm talking about. I'm talking about going by, surviving the stuff. They stole all the fucking money, all the savings, 40 plus thousand dollars they have stolen in savings. They almost managed to kill me by switching me brand new tires with old tires basically sending my car down almost the hill in 2007 as I told you they destroyed me absolutely everything every fucking aspect of life and this fuck little one talks about here about uh, what the fuck are you talking about man bro hey what are you talking about here this person is going to be me you're the most you're the fakest person the fakest individual hey, like a person you don't even fucking exist. You're a baloney. You are more fake than your artificial intelligence fake, Vladimir Putin. You are faker than your artificial intelligence. Hey, anyways, the audience that watch this, some of the some of the, them that watch Putin talking to himself. You can see expression on their faces. Not everybody was laughing about it. Uh -huh. Vladimir Вот я смотрю, вы можете быть на меня похожи и говорите моим голосом. Но я подумал и решил, что похожим на себя говорить моим голосом должен только один человек. И этим человеком буду я. I don't think I have seen more pathetic person than this yet. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I am gonna have to record this stuff at one point or another. Do you know why I'm showing you this? 
I'm showing you this because probably it's about three months already since I ordered glue for the shoes from China. I in fact ordered several of them, none of which ever arrived. And I'm without glasses. I'm without glasses right now and I don't see very well, but it's okay. This here is on the other hand, this here is on, where is it here? Here, I don't know. It's probably here. I wear the pants like this, which are really for the females pants. For the females pants I wear. I slip like this on the floor because they uh, infested, talking about the police who brought me from Poland, Slovenian police who hijacked me from Poland. Demonstrate, I had to observe literally how they infested my room with the moths. This is the father's room here with trophies. I have difficulty charging the phone because of the cables like this. Or like this. This one I video recorded already when it arrived on the mail, through the mail. That's another one right there and I, I know that you understand that when they when if they would do the stuff like this to you and you wouldn't have no money to spend on cables, little cables like this, and they would be keep doing stuff like this to you. I'm really having a trouble. Hmm. Because none of these items arrived. None of these items arrived. They don't arrive. The belts are broken. Watch batteries are broken. Things don't arrive. Nothing arrives. This here is the reason why it doesn't arrive. This here. I'm just going to give you a reason how it works. Now, at this stage. At this stage, it works like this. Uh, delivery failed because the postal director and police on behalf of the police the postal director here in Novo Mesto is what I was told the case is going to even be they are not going to accept packages for me anymore will reserve the right to refuse me the right to completely to the postal services this is not the only case this came as one package. This is not the only case, you see, what you're seeing here. Everything that you see is like this. I just got the money for something that I ordered on the August the 29. Out of six watch mechanisms I ordered, Beginning the July the 27th, 2023, there was only one mechanism that arrived to me out of six. I got refund for the last mechanism that did not arrive. Just, I think, two weeks ago or something like that.
for the stuff that you see right there. It says here, delivery attempt unsuccessful. I already explained to you what the issue is. Delivery attempt unsuccessful. Everything I'm going to demonstrate to you is simply hijacked, refused to deliver to me literally at the Novo Mesto Postal Service. No, I will not be doing this on this occasion. I'm just going to demonstrate to you all these items here that you see. I'm going to just go here to this one here. Aha, uh -huh, okay, this was uh, just recently I ordered this one. Um, up to here. This is actually, they say, out for delivery, which is kind of, not really, I don't think so. Should be here already. It should be here already. And let's see when was it that arrived to the Novo Mesto. It arrived to the Novo Mesto on December the 14th, 2023. That was Thursday. I live in the city of the Novo Mesto. And it's not okay, by the way. This is not okay. This is not okay. It's not okay for Slovenian parliament to expect, to inspect, watch, touch my private items, hand one over from hand to hand, as was the case in the past. It's not okay with this stuff. This arrived to Slovenia. It says here, delivery failed, delivery attempt unsuccessful already on December the 11th. So the Slovenian government is just, the customs were cleared in November the 30th of 2023. This is not okay, you understand? You get it? This is not okay. But this year, this is real me. This is I. This, this, this. This, this, this. And this battery's dying on me. Hold on. All this confiscated. All this stuff that you see right there confiscated. Everything confiscated by the Slovenian police. Literally via Slovenian Postal Services. What is the matter with this stuff here? It's actually... like this this is the address that I specify just like everybody else does see it is it the right address I think it is It says it's here. I already got the packages from here. What is so different about this time?
You won't give me the maps, I guess. It's all right. Google Street Maps, you won't give me. Fuck this. Um, I don't have a time for this stuff. Let me demonstrate you. This is just one account. And I'm going to sign from this account and I'm going to log myself into another account. Is the same shit. Is the same thing. Now it's taking him really long and I would really not want to do this like... So this is a really, if you ask me about Vladimir Putin, you got to be really, how low do you can get? I mean, for you to see yourself as real you, I mean, aren't you, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I mean, to have landed on a, such a low level, I mean, this is what I have to demand the money return for this stuff. I don't understand. Even I completely forgot, ordered it, paid it for so long so that I can fix my shoes and everything that I no longer even remember. Everything, by the way, whatever was delivered, was delivered as destroyed or used. Many, many items destroyed items. All of them definitely used. Broken. Everything that you see. Watches, everything. Every fucking thing. Everything. This watch, for instance, was done in a such a way that I stored one. And once I stored one, everything on the watch turned like you would paint one with exit from the battery. So it completely had fallen apart. I have to record videos and stuff like this. So they give some kind of a special email on it, which, according to MK Ultra scenario, would cause total erosion based on like a small cuts inside. This stuff here, what is it with this stuff here? Have I demanded the money back for this glue here? What is it actually? This is not glue, right? Okay, this is just for the car repair stuff. Really? Uh, glue? What about is the, with the glue? I never received the glue. This was too... Two errors something did not arrive. Let's see this stuff here. It seems like never was shipped. Order was returned. It seems like already was returned at the... Um, go ahead and make your own conclusion out of what. This is the shoe for the... Uh, glue for the shoes. And I know it's got to be entertaining to the Putin this to watch because this is what he likes. You see, it's not about his size, really, his height or, uh, you know. It's about some other issues. Which I don't mind. He, he so, he so uh, killed 350 thousand Russians already in Ukraine and it sent numerous Russians crippled back to Russia and they keep coming for more okay this all I have to do is basically file for uh, 
that kind of stuff. You know, everything you see has the same kind of status. Nothing arrived. No glue, no shit, no nothing. Uh, as a matter of fact, the best can be seen through this kind of waters here that you see. Nothing arrived. No glue, no nothing. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Nothing. Everything is confiscated by... It says it's out for delivery. Bullshit is out for delivery. Nothing is out for delivery. Nothing is out for delivery. Delivery, they say, it failed on 12-5th, 2023. I don't know how, because I think it was Monday last week. Because today is already Monday, and it's 10 minutes after midnight. But last week on Monday, it was the last time I checked for a delivery, for the mail delivery. I checked for I don't know how many times for mail delivery. And nothing, nothing, nothing is ever for me. I go to the postal services all the time, and it's nothing. They had nothing. I have also video recorded this here, that it was refused, in fact. I have another video recording when you're going to be able to see that it, it was, in fact, refused. And it seems like that AliExpress went on the hands to Slovenian Postal Services and have fixed the issue from being rejected by Novo Mesto Postal Director into the status of a new delivery attempt. Hey, come on, man. I video recorded absolutely everything. I do video record this stuff. So I'm glad I'm video recording this stuff too. So this is what makes you smart these days. I'm just demonstrating you basically what's making you smart these days. What's making this politician a little Putin smart is like this, this. This is what British royals, this is what make them smart. See this here? This kind of stuff. Ah, uh, the knives.